Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo and wants to engrave it on a tumbler. So when you do it on a tumbler, you're doing it on most likely on a rota rotary device. And you can't do what I would normally do is by changing these colors. So I'm, a, and first of all, the person I'm doing it for, I didn't have that text, so it picked a text. But your your graphic looks good, clean. So just don't pay attention to my text. But I'm going to go to range and I'm going to ungroup it. Now, if it was a flat surface, I would do this right here and run these two separately and then run the black and then run the gray separately. But you don't have that advantage because most times when you do something in your rotary device, it doesn't go back to 100%, so you, you, can't, you can't really rerun it. Some people have, I don't know if it'd be worth a chance. These two colors could be black, and then this could just be an outline but I would make the outline pretty thick. Let's go with two point scale with object so it'll be clear and definitely a line. But here's the little bit of the problem here because this is sticking up past there, but we can get by that. And I'm gonna give this an outline of, I'm gonna go with green right now and I'm gonna make it 200 points or two points but we still have that problem where that line, because it's a point, but there's a way around that. Let's take this line and don't worry about the two colors yet. And really you'd want this black, but for the video, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go Grange and I'm gonna convert it to an object. And then I'm gonna take my shape tool and I'm gonna add a node right there and I'm gonna add a node right there and I'm gonna delete this node. And you see it's not perfect. I'm gonna change your nudge distance to 0, 0.0. You wouldn't think it would move, but it does. This is so small that 0, 0, 0.01 will not work. And then just nudge this up till that black goes away. Same thing on this one. Click on that, convert it to an object. Take your shape tool and add a node. I'm double left clicking. Delete that node. We're still not perfect. Shape tool. Just do it till that distance is gone. It just disappears. Now, if you were doing this for sublimation, you could turn it all that green. I'll show you in just a second. But we're going to left we're gonna left click black and right click black. Well, that didn't really work because it's, it's an, now it's an object and not a, a line. So let's do it like it's the same color. Get your eyedropper tool out. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's make it black and let's get our eyedropper tool out and let's take that black and then pour it into that line. Now your graphic is clean and looks pretty good. You would probably have to do the same thing down here we did, just a hair. We've already converted it to an object, so it should, and because they're both black, you could probably just move that one up and move this one up. And then I would make this black Now, I do not know, you know, what kind of laser this person has. To me, I'd be happy with that. You could fill this in with a gray, but I don't know that uh, Ceramark or Enduromark will distinguish between a gray and a black when it's engraving. And because you don't have the luxury of running it twice, so this, this would not be a problem if it was on a flat surface. Let's just sh show you what I mean. Let's back up here. Let's move this over the edge like if it was on the laser. You could fill this rectangle in with gray 
and actually make the outline gray. Get my Smart Fill tool again. Fill that in with gray. I don't think our two grays are the same color, but you can make them that. Same thing with the eyedropper tool. Pour it in that. Well, it's the same thing. It's because it's an object. But you get what I mean. So what I would do is you could set your nudge factor. Let's see how big this thing is. It's only two inches. So it might work. If it's only two inches, it might work without using a rotary. But the way I engrave things, and I've showed this many, many times, I would, if I had a flat surface, I would engrave this at, you know, 100 power, 50 speed, and go, you know, deep if it was on wood, and then move this stuff out of the way and run this at like, and we would want to change this color, but get it back over there and I'm just nudging it so it's going to go back and forth. And then run this like at, you know, 100 power at 90 speed or, or 90 power or 50 power. And the thing I like about it, the black is still there, but it's not going to engrave this, but just a little bit. And if it's not quite dark enough, you can engrave it again. But on a ro rotary device, to get it back equally, probably isn't gonna work. Some people have had luck with it. I've never had any luck with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.